Don't forget to check out my Patreon, linked in the description below. I react to many, many other videos that get blocked on YouTube, such as Idol Rooms, Knowing Bros, lots of Red Velvet Level Up project episodes, concert videos, such as Twice Land, Twice Lights, and Red Mare. We also have some dramas, like He is Psychometric. We also have Finding Stray Kiss and One Fine Day in Japan of Seventeen. Also got seven hard carry episodes. So don't forget to check out my Patreon. Thank you, and continue on with the video. Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have uh, Mamamoo Aya. Um, album. So sorry I was a little late to this, but we're here now. Aya is a um, very, very good song. I listen to it all the time. So we have Travel, Chuck, Diamond, and Goodnight. Let's hop into the video. This is my third album. I did Melting and was it Black and White? Black on Black? Something like that. The album with Hip. Alright, it's a little different. Okay. Well, just the I've heard. Rian has such a like airy voice, I love it. Oh, smooth rap by our Queen Mindyo. I like this, it's very uh, so from the albums I've heard, it feels very um, summery. I feel like they're often more like in the fall element, if it makes sense. <laughs> fall winterish, like. <laughs> it feels very tropical, which is what Aya kind of feels like too. There, see, very summery. Oh, I love, I love Mundial's rap here on this song. This feels so jungly. I know that the cover is pretty jungle-like too, so. This is a good like background car driving song, you know what I mean? Road trip feeling. It says travel, it makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, weird. Her voice kills me. I love this girl so much. I love this song. I think I might like it more than Aya. And Aya was like a bop. Especially Hasa in that song. I like they're all doing this pose and then like... Solar has to be a little sexual and be like... <laughs> Actually, Hoss is pretty light on her lip, too. That was a bop. I love that song. That's a 10 out of 10. Oh. I really, this is such a soothing comfort song. I really like that one. Definitely 10 out of 10. I think Wien sounded really good on it. I love Mew Girl's rap. Wien's tattoo is real, right? Let me know. Ooh. This is, this is that, this is that Mama Mu I love. 
very piano man like. Is your song, huh? Okay, so I watched this video and it's like everything wrong with fourth generation girl groups. Uh, and I was very interested. I was like, oh, hmm. I clicked it. I was curious. And I have to kind of agree. They said this is also for like a lot of girl groups, but mainly fourth generation. But I feel like Mamamoo, their recent albums kind of fit in it too, where it's not like anything bad. If I, When I say it out loud, you're going to be like, what? But like, I get the video. Like, I understood the video. Um, a lot of it is self-love. But, like, in a love myself way, where I guess you could say BTS do this too. But I think the way they do it isn't so in your face, except for Idol, which is probably why I don't like Idol too much. It's very in your face. Um, it's like I just w watched Luna, <laughs> Luna's album, and they, well, they had a song with the exact same message. It's very repetitive, it can get a little cheesy, a little overdone a little overcooked like the love yourself message like it after a while you kind of simply roll your eyes at it and i feel like mamamoo have a lot of songs like that and those are the ones i usually don't like because they're very they're just it's a little cheesy it's a little too much it's a little too like childlike i guess you could say but i really like the song it was just like i saw that line and it reminded me of that video so far i like the song <laughs> If you like the song, you can get over that, cause like I love BTS and they do that too. But I just think they're more subtle with it. Mama was actually pretty subtle with it too. But I like the meaning of love yourself here. It's like about a relationship, and you know, yeah, like it's over. I love the lyrics in this song. See, like, that's why I can actually enjoy the message here because it's like a little more different it's like i don't need you i can be myself and love who i am and grow without you I love Hwasa in the song. Hwasa killed this. You would think I'd say William. Ooh, okay, so But Hwasa, it's the way she's singing. It's so different. William killed it too, though. Let's be real here, but... I love the beat of the song. I don't get what Chuck means. I'll have to look at the comments up. I explain it. I'm over here like it's because of the basic guy name, but I feel like they have maybe a different version of a basic guy name in Korea, so. Okay, leave or give up. No, yeah, this beat is great. I love this beat. Okay, we got a little mix up of Liam and Solar. This album kills it. And they have diamond. 
Oh, Hoffa looks so cute here. Oh my god, look at William's little smiles. Oh my god, they look so good in these pictures. Okay, Mule. End up where? Oh. This isn't a solar song, huh? And y'all don't know Ween's my bias, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. Living the vida, love God. That reminds me of solar, yeah. Y'all want to kill me. Okay, this is, this is my favorite song. I heard Moonbeal writes her own raps. Let me know. But I'm pretty sure she does. Wien is so sexy. Okay. That sex appeal. That voice. If you're straight, you're gay now. Like, Wien did it to you. Me over here is a Wien song now because that one line. <laughs> we'll see. I feel like Solar's still carrying it. But Mugo's rap was so good too. Wait, you're doing the voice. And it's English. I love <laughs> Okay, but this part's crazy. I like this part. That's so my Memorial does that. Everyone killed this song. This is so attractive. <laughs> Tell me you're not attracted to girls after this video. Is that it? No. Dang. Yeah, I need more before I die. It's probably for the best. I'm so sorry my mom's uh being loud. Okay, is this gonna be valid? Solar. Wasa, you look gorgeous. Oh my god. Y'all, oh, is it valid? Are we getting a Mama Moo ballad that's supplied with every album? We always need one of these. Oh, if you don't know, Diamond's 11 out of 10. Like, <laughs> Diamond's my favorite. I'm so sorry, my mom is so loud. Are these pictures from the album? Because they look so gorgeous. This feels kind of Christmassy. I think they have a song called Emotion. I think that's the right one. And it kind of gives me that feel of like comfort, but sadness. Are this song about their moms? I don't remember. It's probably called Mom, let's be real, or something like that. I feel like it's not going that category for me. Oh, 
I love Mungo's rap story on the so Oh, that's a cute one. I like that one. I like when Hasa sings in this voice, like her very gentle tone. She sounds so much like her age, I guess, a little youthfuler, youthfuler, more youthful. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I love that there's no music there. Wow, that's beautiful. I don't know if- oh, stupid neck, get on my face. I don't know if it's on the level of emotion for me. Emotion remains, I think, part of my favorite Mamamoo song. Emotion and another song that I keep forgetting the name of, the other ballad. Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. But those two songs kind of remain my favorite. But dang, Uyan's part there, where there's no music playing, and she is my bias. I'm like, okay, y'all really want to come for me. Solar's vocals at the end. Everything was great. The lyrics and Mungo's part of Hwasa's sweet tone. I like when Hwasa sings like that. It's so beautiful. But yeah, this was an, this was a perfect album. Like, it's, it's it's not my favorite. Melting's my favorite, but like, this is technically like a perfect album. There's not one bad song on it. Like, a bop. I wish it was kind of released earlier in the year, to be honest. Like, maybe around summertime. I feel like I could have loved it more throughout, like, the end of 2020. I kind of wish it was like, I don't know, for no specific reason. I just kind of wish it was. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for this video. I'm going to do another Mahamamoo album soon because I haven't gone through their discography enough yet. I need more. They have so many albums. It's kind of hard to like, well, they don't have a lot, lot, but they have a handful. So we will be doing another album soon. I think Melting just is iconic to me. I don't know. Every song on there is just fun, beautiful, sad, perfect. Yeah. But anyways, let me know your favorite mommy album in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!